Logan Paul's game CryptoZoo was recently exposed as being a complete scam. Nobody could have seen that one coming. But he responded by saying that this isn't true and that him and his team have just been really hard at work on the game for the past 12 months. I think that is a complete lie based on how simple the game is. And I'm gonna prove that by remaking CryptoZoo in one hour. It's that simple. So I have an empty Unity project and I'm going to start the timer in three, two, one. I have to, I have to actually, um, I have to actually, I have to actually go and start the timer. All right, what I'm gonna do is create a UI canvas and basically lay out all of the visuals for the game first before I move into actual code. So the UI canvas will have a UI panel, which will essentially be a grid of all of the items in our game. So eggs and animals. So to do that, what you can do is you can use a grid layout group, which makes everything that's a child of this object will be automatically aligned in a grid. It's kind of crazy. The actual panels that will be displayed on here will be UI buttons. So let's make a UI button. Let's take this button, call this animal, and the animal panel needs to have a name, a yield rate, and the accumulated coins, negative 100. And then what we wanna do is add one more thing, which is a button. And this button will be the button you use to burn the animal or release the animal into the wild. Burning an animal sounds kinda, kinda dark actually. And then let's make something similar for the egg. Uh, just make this say egg. And then let's make another one, which is like a purchase panel, which you use to buy eggs. There we go. The only other thing we need for the visuals is in the top right, let's add a coin counter. Move that to the top right. And with all of the visuals of the game laid out, it is time to actually code this thing in the next 56 minutes. To start off, let's add the scripts that we need. So we need a game manager, animal, and egg. Come on, Unity. Okay, so our game manager will have a coin count, a list of animals, a list of eggs, the price of eggs, and then let's go ahead and make it a singleton as well. Also instantiate our variables. Let's say you start off with 10 coins. Moving on to our A class, let's get rid of our mono behavior. Do the same thing in animal. And then here we also need a label, a yield, and coin. Let's go ahead and add a constructor to create animals. Pass in the label and the yield. Let's go ahead and add a method to update the coin counter based on the yield. So coins plus equals yield. Now, back in our game manager, in our game manager update loop, let's run that method every 10 seconds. Simple as that. And then while we're in game manager, let's fill in the rest of the methods we need, which is buy egg, hatch egg, breed, um, burn. And that should be it. Dope. I don't know why. I've, I've never said dope before. I don't know why I did that, guys. Buy egg is pretty simple. You just want to say, if your coins are greater than egg price, then you subtract the egg price from your coins and add a new egg. Uh, for hatching an egg, we can keep it pretty simple for now since we're on a bit of a time constraint. Let's just make our game have a single animal. So you remove your egg and you add an animal. Let's call our animal Logan and let's give it a yield rate of five. And then for breeding, let's remove the two animals and then let's add their child, which we'll do a new animal, animal1.label plus GAN. So if Logan and Logan are breeded, they will create Logan Gin. And if Logan Gin and Logan are breeded, it will create Logan Gin Gin. Which, 
you know, feels like a pretty fleshed out roster of animals in my opinion. I think, I think we're good to go. Secondly, the yield rate, let's just add animal one dot yield plus animal two dot yield. And that should be good for that. And then burning is pretty simple. Literally just remove the animal and then add the animal's coins to your coins. And that was honestly pretty simple. Gameplay wise, we are now completely sorted and we still have 47 minutes. It took me 15 minutes to write all of the game code for CryptoZoo. We have 45 minutes now to just make the game interactable. So, CryptoZoo is the easiest game to code in the universe. How do we still have 39? It hasn't even been a half hour and we're basically finished. <laughs> oh, you can also breed animals with yourself. That, that doesn't make sense. So that is all of the code that we need for CryptoZoo. And we still have 25 minutes left of this. It's been 35 minutes. Let's test the game and see if we really created CryptoZoo. There we go. Can you burn them? Yes. Let's wait for them to generate coins. And the coins are added to your coin count when you burn cards. And with that, we have successfully made Logan Paul's game that apparently he has been hard at work on for 12 months in less than an hour. Something is not adding up there. Logan Paul should just hire me, honestly. Like, I don't have a criminal record. I know he only hires criminals, but like, I could get one if it means I get to work for Logan. All right, so we can buy eggs, hatch our eggs into Logans, um, and then breed our Logans. Breed our Logan and our Logan into a Logengen, which generates 10 coins every 10 seconds. And let's breed our Logengen and our Logan into a Logengengen, which generates 15 coins every 10 seconds. Let's generate our Logengengen and our Logan into a Logengengengen. And last but not least, let's breed our Logengengengen with our Logan to get a Logengengengengen. And that is how you get rich in Super CryptoZoo Deluxe HD. We should make the ultimate Logan hybrid. We should breed all 50 of these Logans. Oh no. Oh no. And there you go. Logan, gen, 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 gen. It already has 500 coins. Logan, gen, 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 is actually seriously OP in this game. So what I did was, in a couple hours, I polished this game up a bit. Let me show you the new and improved Super Crypto Zoo Deluxe HD, which has been renamed. I didn't want to get sued for having Crypto Zoo in the name. You can play this game, it's live on my itch page, and it's also live on mobile. I did some mining off camera. Cyber Zoo. Please don't sue me, Logan Paul. I honestly think instead of a lawsuit, we could just settle it in the ring. This game is cool because it actually has every animal from the original crypto zoo we got a gorilla penguin bear orca and butterfly and the animals also have rarity which is which is pretty um which is pretty cool so the rarer the animal is the more coins it generates let's do the orca and the penguin and orca gwyn i mean isn't that just so clever an orca gwyn like who would have thought of that a lion orca that's that's not that clever honestly an elk win. Okay, okay. There's five different rarities. Common, uncommon, rare, super rare, and epic. Epic animals have a less than 0.1% chance of hatching. I got an epic? No way. Wait, so you're telling me you got a blobfish? One of the rarest animals in the game. And you read it? with a kitten, the most common animal. Let me know what you guys want to see from CyberZoo, a totally original game. And if the game sucks, just, just tell me it's good anyways.